Hello everybody, welcome back to part 46 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we went on to go uh, collect some of the gold skulltillas I missed. So I'm going to continue doing that. Um, there are some that I missed in Kakariko Village, but there's only one that's exclusively uh, for Adult Link. And that's one over here. So I'm going to actually get the rest of these skulltillas as Young Link. What I want to do is collect all the ones as Adult Link that I can first. And then, yeah, uh, then get them as Young Link. So, yeah. That way there's no, like, jumping back and forth between the two Links. So, yeah, the first one... That's uh, actually, yeah, the only one that we can get as Adult Link. We can't get it as Young Link. I'm not even sure if it spawns in as Young Link. But, yeah, like, it wouldn't matter because you need the hook shot to get up there. Anyway, uh, so in Hyrule Field, there's a... Uh, I should probably use Epona. I'll color it a little bit later. So by this tree, there's going to be uh, a hole. Like we can either use bombs or the Megaton Hammer to open. I'm just gonna use the Megaton Hammer because it's kind of cheap. So I'm just gonna not waste bombs. <laughs> but yeah, down this hole, uh, it's gonna be kind of an ugly patch of webs. And there we go. We got a skull to come out. And somewhere in here, there should, yep, right there, there should be a gold skulltula. So, in case it uh, isn't really like obvious by how like I sound like I'm already knowing where these guys are, um, yes, I, I looked up a guide for some of these. I tried not to have, in the last episode. Actually, that's a lie. I did, but for like a few of them, I did not look up a guide. This time, though, I really feel like, you know, um, like I don't remember where all of these are. And I know it kind of takes away from the joy of finding them on your own. Uh, to just look up a guide that will do it for you. But at the same time, like, this isn't on my own. You know, this is for uh, YouTube, so... You know, I don't want a YouTube video of me just looking around and not finding things. Like, not to mention that because I want to get these up, you know, relatively quickly. I can't just be spending time on my own looking for these it could add a potentially a couple more days uh, for me to find them all so yeah I'm just gonna try to get these done not at, like as fast as possible because that's just like too much but I'm gonna try to get them as done pretty quickly you know so yeah um, I'm gonna get these ones in Hyrule field there's only two in Hyrule field if you can believe it uh, this rock. Both of these ones in Hyrule Field actually can be obtained as either an adult or a child. Uh, I know there's this rock here that you need to use the Megaton Hammer to blow up, but for some reason, as a young Link, that rock isn't there, so all you need to do is just blow up uh, the pole with rocks. And then you can use Din's Fire, and you know what, yeah, I think I'll just use Din's Fire. I was gonna use a Fire Arrow, but there's three webs. Might as well just knock them all out with one Din's Fire. And there we go, we got them all. So let's switch back to arrows because usually the era, the weapons you're going to be using the most are uh, arrows and the long shot. There we go. So yeah, we got that. I actually don't know what else is in here. So might as well go ahead and see. Looks like they just have a gossip stone, nothing behind it either. And that looked like it just had a regular Skulltula. So I guess there was nothing really too important here except for a cow and a Skulltula. As for how a cow got trapped underground and then encased behind some webs, I have absolutely no idea. But hey, it's Zelda. Anything can really happen apparently. So the next area I'm going to go to is the uh, Gerudo Fortress. Now well, now that I think about it, I didn't actually look up the guide for where are the Skulltulas in uh, Gerudo Valley itself. That seems like it would be something I should have looked up. Um, but I did see where they are in Gerudo's Fortress, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. And it looks like, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to think. I don't know if they're really that hard to find. Because Gerudo's Valley is a small area, so I guess I don't really need a guide to look for them. Uh, I'm assuming that they're all going to be in pretty straightforward areas. 
Now, there's only one thing I kind of regret about choosing to do the Adult Link ones first instead of the Young Link ones. And that's that some of these Gold Skulltulas are easier obtained and sometimes can only be obtained unless you use Magic Beans to uh, uh, get them. But, uh, yeah. Whatever, I guess there's going to be some back and forth. Uh, so their first Gold Tula is actually going to be over here. However, I forgot that it only comes out during the night, so we're going to have to, um... Oh, wait, shoot, I don't think there's a daylight cycle in this, uh, map. So we might actually <laughs> spawn all the way outside. Yep, okay, yeah, it's going to spawn us out at the beginning. Whatever, I can just call an uh, opponent here, and uh, we'll just ride out there again. Uh, where is Epona? Like, I think I heard her, but like, I don't see her. Uh, maybe she's stuck up here. Yep, I figured she's stuck up there. Um, we could go there. There's actually a Skulltula that we can get in the fortress itself. Although, I'm not exactly sure I remember what the path is for it. I just know that it's on the second floor. Uh, the guy did show which was the optimal path to get to it. But, you know, screw it. I'm just gonna kind of figure it out here. I mean, Gerudo's Fortress isn't that hard to navigate, right? Okay, I think I am remembering it in the wrong area. Um, so it turns out it's actually over there. So, good. I didn't actually already collect this. Or maybe not good. Actually, if I already collected it... Um, like that would save us time but alas we did not so I think that one also only spawns during the day which would probably explain why I haven't already collected it because I always do this stuff during the day and uh, for some reason opponent's gone okay oh well so yeah the next one is going to be on that target come on Please don't tell me you're coming from over here. Ah, oh, dag gamut, Epona. Alright, let's see if I can actually hit this Skulltula from on horseback. Oh my god, that was a horrible shot. Anyway, there it is, and we got it. Uh, unfortunately, we can't use the hook shot from horseback. But, you know, we'll just get it like this. So yeah, we have to get a bullseye with the hook shot now. And yeah, so that's all the Gerudo Valley ones, or Gerudo Fortress. Alright, so I changed my mind and decided to use a guide anyway for this. So, it, just to make sure that um, I'm getting the, the Skulltulas as Adult Link, because there's only two that we can get as Adult Link. And that's this one. And there's one over here. Uh, actually, now I think about it, the guy didn't specifically state whether one of them can be obtained only with uh, Adult Link. Or only these two, but uh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, besides, it's not going to really matter. We're going to come back here as a kid anyway. And for sure there's one that we can only get as a kid. I wonder what's back here. It looks like it would hide, like, a Skulltula here, but it's not. Hiding a chest. Uh, should I get it? Nah, I feel like it's gonna be rupees. But yeah, so... That was <laughs> messed up. So, there's two more in the Haunted Wasteland. It's funny that I didn't get these because I was just over there not too long ago. Um, but yeah. So apparently it's not a requirement to have the beanstalk plant thing. But it will help if you do have it. Because levers are annoying. Also, I'm pretty sure these, uh, at least one of them only spawns in during the night. So we're gonna have to sun song it back to night. Alright, levers. Leave me alone. So yeah, uh, we already used this magic bean plant to get a, um, a whatchamacallit, a heart piece. But uh, there's another area that we should be able to get to, which should be right here. Yep. This Skulltula. 
I didn't get it as uh last time because well I just I guess I didn't feel like getting it or no I just didn't realize it was there that's why. But yeah, like you see that one would I would not have been able to remember that like if I had to look these up with the, or get these without a guide it would be pretty annoying. But anyway, this last one I think also spawns only at night. You just go in here and there's a wrong. I'm not gonna do that. Uh. Just hook shot on the, the thing on the tree slightly. Dang. Stop interrupting me, enemies. Alright, there we go. And we got it. So those are the only two that we can really get as an adult. I think there's one, maybe two more that we can get as a kid. I think it's just one, actually. There's one more in the uh, haunted wasteland, but we got it already, so. There we go. We got all these Skulltulas. Uh, I guess I'll go to the, like, Lost Woods next. There's one in the Lost Woods that we can't get, but, yeah. Ah, oh, shoot, now that I'm thinking about it. Kind of forgetting where all these are. <laughs> That's the problem when, like, you look up a guide for, like, a bunch of these, uh, blah, 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 a bunch of these... Um, Skulltulas, you kind of forget each one individually. It looks like Link is spazzing out when he's up the ground. Anyway, three arrows and he's down. Uh, fun fact, you can use light arrows on some enemies, including the Moblin there. And, uh, oh dang, I messed up. But yeah, if you use light arrows on the Moblin, I didn't even press forward, why'd you go up? You'll get a uh, purple rupee. Oh great, now I have to wait for both of these clowns to turn around. Please don't charge me. Alright. You're being a nuisance. Anyway, uh, I don't know if these are... This one's like an exclusive night one. But here you go, it's right here. So it looks like dawn is about to break, which is fine because I think it's still in night mode, but yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, that's like the last one we can get now. There's another Adult Link exclusive one, but you need a magic bean plant to get it. So I'm going to go to Kokiri Forest, and uh, yeah. I think there's only one that's like an adult exclusive one as well. Can we jump there? Nope, not even close. Same thing as with the Lost Woods, there's only one here. Except actually, as Adult Link, there actually is only one here that we can get. Unlike the other ones where we would need to go back and forth. Now if you go here, yep, should be right there. And I think this is a night exclusive one. So, yeah. Alright, we got a Skulltula, proving we destroyed it, or something like that. We got the token. And, uh, hmm. Honestly, I actually didn't look up any more guides, because I thought I would take a longer time. But, uh, hmm, where else would we go? Uh, we already got all the ones in the Haunted Wasteland that we could as an adult. Grudo's Fortress is just 100%. And Grudo Valley, yeah. Uh, Lake Hylia, I think there's some that we didn't get there. Market, well we got all the ones that we could. The only one that you can really get as Adult Link is the one in Ganon's Tower that I did like, the first time I became an adult, it was like one of the first things I did. So, Death Mountain. Yeah, we, we pretty much got all the ones that we were really looking for. Unless there's some in uh, uh, Lake Hylia. But besides that, yeah, I, I think we're good. Let me just look up Lake Hylia, and if there's some that I can get, then I'll go there. And if not, then, uh, well, next episode we'll get the ones as Child Link. So, yeah, as it turns out, there are some. Like, I figured, I guess that was probably obvious. Oh, did, is it just about to be daylight? Well, no. For once, or I guess... Not necessarily once, because we did a few times, but uh, for these few times, I actually want it to be night. 
instead of daily. So yeah, uh, the first one is actually right next to the spawn area, or the warp area. Hookshot here, and it's at the top of this tree. Uh, like, I don't actually remember if these are exclusive night ones, but they are there in the night. Now, there's some that the guide uh, was showing as Young Link that you can get, but I don't know if it was exclusively Young Link that you, c you had to use. There was one here on this pillar here, and it looks like, yeah, it is exclusively Young Link, so we can't actually get it as an adult. Uh, there's another one inside the lakeside laboratory. Laboratory, I don't know, however you want to say it. Uh, just to make sure, I'm going to look, because there was actually another one that was attached to the laboratory uh, on the back side. And I just want to make sure that that's not like an exclusively adult one, or young one, Link one, I meant. And it looks, yep, the one on the back side of the laboratory is also in child exclusive uh, Skulltula. So I guess it doesn't matter if it turns to day now. Uh, but this one is exclusive. So what we have to do is, uh, equip the iron boots, just to be safe, I'm gonna use the tunic as well. And go to the bottom. So normally there's just some, uh, rupees, and there's this box, and apparently Skulltulas can breathe underwater, which is Pretty terrifying, because in real life, you know, if there's a spider in the water, you probably shouldn't have to be too scared of it, because, well, spiders can't breathe underwater. They die pretty quickly, actually. But, uh, yeah, these now we have underwater spiders. That's, like, horrifying. Now to think about it, there's tons of things in the ocean that are basically underwater spiders, so that's terrifying as well. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You've dove one meter just now, but I wouldn't call that a real dive. Oh yeah, uh, we can't actually do it, uh, but there's a heart piece that we can get here. We actually need the gold scale to do it. We only have the silver scale, but uh, yeah. You may not have noticed, but you dove six meters just now. You should be able to dive deeper. But yeah, since we don't have the gold scale, we cannot get it. We can get it in the fishing minigame, but I'll do that in another episode. But yeah, I guess for now, that just about wraps up all the gold skulltulas that I can think of as adult link that we missed out on. So I guess the next ones I'm going to get are the young link exclusive ones. And then also go back to get some of the Adult Link exclusive ones that you would need Young Link first to plant a magic bean or something. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this episode, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.